guys my name is utg mist and welcome to episode 100 of catman joe's minecraft achievement slash trophy guide series to celebrate episode 100 joe has asked me to take you guys through the do a barrel roll achievement it's worth 30 gamer score if you're like me and you play on xbox or a silver trophy if you're on playstation and all we need to do is use the riptide enchantment on a trident to give ourselves a boost now before we get started on this achievement we will need some combat gear to get the trident an enchantment table, which can be made with two diamonds, a book, and four obsidian blocks. Surrounded by a bare minimum of six bookcases with three lapis lazuli, or eleven bookcases with only two lapis lazuli. But like I said, those are just bare minimums and require a perfect situation. So ideally, you're going to want to have more bookcases and lapis lazuli to have a much easier time getting the achievement. But, if you are for whatever reason limited by either of these items, it is still possible. I'll explain more later in the episode. As far as recommendations go, night vision, water breathing, and swiftness potions will all help you in getting the trident. Having a weapon with a looting enchantment will also make getting the trident a lot easier. I would also suggest at least 8 bookcases surrounding your enchantment table, but like I said it is possible to do it with a couple less. Now with all of that out of the way, the first thing that we're going to do is get the trident. And to get the trident we need to find and kill a drowned that is holding a trident. And the chance that the drown drops its trident is 5.5% without looting, 6.5% with looting 1, 7.5% with looting 2, and 8.5% with looting 3. Now to get the enchantment table, like I said at the beginning, you will need 2 diamonds, a book, and 4 obsidian. Then select the enchantment table from the crafting menu. Place it down and then surround it with bookcases one block away. To get the riptide enchantment onto our trident, we will need an enchantment level of at least 17. Having 6 bookcases around your enchantment table is the minimum number of bookcases needed to get a level 17 enchantment in the bottom slot. But even with a level 17 enchantment, it does not guarantee the Riptide enchantment. That is why I recommend at least 8 bookcases so that you have an increased chance of getting to level 17 or higher, which means that levels 2 and 3 of the Riptide enchantment will also start to show up. If the Riptide enchantment doesn't show up when you put the trident into the enchantment table, Simply enchant another tool with the lowest level enchantment you can. This will reset the enchantments it offers for the trident. If you are unlucky enough to get either the loyalty or channeling enchantments, you will need to start completely over with a new trident or remove those enchantments with a grindstone, because Riptide cannot exist with either of those two enchantments. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. If you need to gain levels before you can enchant your trident with Riptide, I recommend mining quartz or fighting blazes, both in the nether, for fast experience rates. But if you were able to get the Riptide enchantment onto your trident, all we need to do now is find some rain or take a dive into some water, and hold the left trigger to pull back the trident. Releasing the left trigger will send your character flying in the direction that you are pointing, and spin you around like a corkscrew. After you have done so, you have earned yourself the Do a Barrel Roll achievement. I'd like to thank Catman Joe for allowing me to showcase this achievement on this very special episode. Congrats on 100. I had a lot of fun making this video for you guys. Alright guys, CMJ here, and uh, yeah, once again, huge thank you. Before we do anything at all, before we continue speaking about what I, I guess kind of really want to speak about, obviously, before the end of this video, huge, huge, huge thank you, and ups to my boy UTG Mist. Please go check him out. If you guys are other, like, I guess, fellow achievement hunters or trophy hunters like myself, go check out UTG Mist. He doesn't just do Minecraft trophies or achievements, he does do them as well, but he additionally does dozens of other games as well. He's like the number one YouTube channel that I've seen for Minecraft achievements and trophies, so please, guys, Go check him out, go drop my sub. Even if you don't watch all his content, still check him out. Drop my sub. He's a great guy, honestly. But he puts a lot of work and I guess effort into all his actual editing and whatnot and all his videos. A lot more than me, I can assure you. And uh, honestly, guys, please go check him out on my behalf. UTG Mess, once again, absolute mad lad. I've got his channel linked down below and I'll be at the end of the video as well, guys. But yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching episode 100 of my, I guess, Minecraft achievement slash trophy guide series. Um... It's mad to think that we're on episode 100, honestly. I did want to do something very special for this episode. That's why it's been so delayed. Um, and I, for me, guys, this is really a huge milestone. I've been doing this series, or at least I started this series, way back on September 19th, 2017. So we've been going for almost three years on a single series, which is just insane. And I believe, honestly and openly, this series right here probably is my longest series I've ever done on the entire channel. So, I mean... I don't know guys, it's absolutely insane. Um, we're only a few achievements away from 
pretty much completing every, not even pretty much, from totally and utterly completing every single Minecraft Legacy Edition trophy. And then hopefully we're going to move on to Bedrock. And hopefully in the future, we can do some more collabs with UTG Mess because he's a great guy and I'd really love to do some more collabs from the future because honestly, guys, he's a pleasure to work with. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did go to enjoy it, please be sure to drop a like it. And of course, if you're new to the channel as well, please be sure to subscribe. And uh, we got a lot more videos and achievement, I guess, tutorials coming in the future. So yeah, guys, stick around. Thank you so much for watching. Check out UTG Mess once again. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Love you all. Thank you for 100 episodes. And you guys, peace out.